Hello everyone. We're in DaVinci Resolve 18. We're going to do a Polaroid slideshow today. With that said, let's get started. I have to resize the uh, length of these clips for this slideshow. Um, way longer than really need to be, but if I don't do it, it will start dropping off some of the first ones by the time we get to the end. So they have to be about 25 seconds for a six or seven picture clip. So I go into preferences. In user editing standard still duration we'll go twenty five seconds. Now when I bring them down, they'll automatically be 25 seconds long and I won't have to stretch them to length. Now we want to take this Essentials Polaroid Frame template that I made. Drop it right on the picture. Resize it. Center it. And go to the effects up here. I'm going to click off this show original. Look at the top and bottom of the Polaroid. It shows part of the existing picture. We want that out of there like that. Right here at this point, before I put a name on it, I'm going to save the attributes. Now I'll name them each one as I go. Pick my font and color. Resize it. Before I go any farther, I'm going to raise these up to the second timeline and then put a background under it.
Now we'll paste the attributes into this one. It carries everything right over. So you don't have to do redo everything. Now we just have to resize it and then put the title in. I think this is Little Jackson, but I'm not 100% sure. As you can see, my keyboard now, plus many other things that the other screen recorder I was using didn't show. This one shows everything. Size it. Continue on all the way through. Um, by the way, I have to change the color of the background that I put in there. That's the pink strip. It It's black, uh, as well as the standard background that doesn't show up on your video when you play it. I click on it. I like this color here. One thing I did forget, you know, a drop shadow right here. I don't want this with this type of uh, uh, slideshow. So we'll go back in and take them out. Now they look flat.
I'm going to move these two apart, though, because they're almost identical. I didn't realize that. Now we have to convert these into a compound clip so everything stays together and don't move. I'll show you what I mean. So the frame rotates, but the picture don't. Compound clip. Now everything rotates together or rotates together. Now I have to stack these all on top of each other.
You can make this longer as well. Um, probably about twice as long, 10 to 12 pictures all together. You run out of room eventually, as you can see, when you keep stacking them up. You can only go to here. I guess you could probably go more. You could probably do about 15 or 18. Okay, we're going to start the animation now. We're going to start at the beginning of the first picture with clip one. With the timeline, which is that red line. Gonna highlight it. Set a keyframe. The very top one. Keyframes all the all the uh, adjustments for this clip. Now we're gonna move it down and out of the frame. We'll rotate it. Move it over. Okay. I want to add one second. Now we will double click. Brings it back in the center, but it's too straight. Won't look good if all six pictures land perfectly in line, so we want to stagger them. That way it looks more natural. Now we're going to go ahead, that was one second on that, we're going to go, actually let's back that up and go two seconds. You can clear it right here, start at zero, We'll go two seconds. Double click these perimeters. Brings it back in the line. Stagger it some. We'll go ahead uh, half a second. Then bring the other picture in line. Half a second is 15 clicks, which is 15 frames. This is set up at 30 frames per second. Now we've got the other picture. Now we'll animate it. Keyframe everything. Go ahead, one and a half seconds. Now we will 
Double click the perimeters. Angle it a little bit. Count 15 again. Next picture in. Move forward one and a half seconds. Click the perimeters. Rotate that again. I'll move ahead 15 frames. New pictures up. Now we'll jump ahead oh, one and a half seconds. Sorry, I forgot to keyframe it. Move to head 15 more frames, one and a half seconds altogether. Stagger it. Go 15 frames. New picture. Mistake again. 
Got ahead of myself. Okay, now we'll move ahead one and a half seconds. Keyframe it. Move ahead one and a half seconds. Double click the perimeters, bring the picture back in line. I'm going to turn the render cache on so it plays back smoothly or it'll be a little jig and jittery. That's what this red line is. Once it turns all blue, it's all rendered and ready to play. I have only done this once, maybe twice, so we'll see if I remember how I did it. Hi, Ann. I'm recording something right now, okay? I'll be right with you. I'm almost done. Once the line's all blue, we'll play it and see what we have. I guess I forgot the name of the last one. I thought I did it. But we can separate them some, make them a little longer.
still a little fast. I'm going to readjust it. I think that's good right there. Let it render the cache one more time. We'll play it through and then we're done. It staggered about three seconds per clip. We can now shorten these. If you stay all the way to the end, you'll see it replayed in full view.
There you go. Now you got a Polaroid slideshow. In one moment, you'll see it playing full view. I want to thank everybody for staying to the end. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you on the next one.